Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I have a multitude of people comment and message me about this species, Lepidurus cusii, and how to grow them in captivity. Even though they share many similarities with their cousin, the triops, they are a bit more complex when it comes to cultivation. I wouldn't recommend this species for novice or beginners. To start the hatching process, I use a large plastic container holding a few gallons of water. It's best to use a wide container to get as much surface area for airflow or oxygen exchange. I added the substrate, water, and kept the temperature around 60 Fahrenheit. After a few days, the eggs begin to hatch. However, they don't hatch completely like triumphs. They emerge from an egg which doesn't really have a hard shell. But they continue to develop within a membrane similar to the fairy shrimp in the genus Eubrancopus. They hatch as a more developed larva known as Menonophi. This hatching process can take 1-2 to two weeks, so it's important algae isn't overgrowing in this time frame. You don't want them to get entangled and potentially die. At this hatching stage, they are incredibly tiny and very orange compared to triops. The features on the young Lepidurus are going to be very similar to triops. As a matter of fact, let me do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two to see the differences at this young age. The Lepidurus shows less developed features, which could be because they take longer to mature than triops. Other than that, they are pretty much identical besides the larger set of eyes on triops. After a few weeks, they finally get to a decent size and start to develop coloration in their carapace. They are definitely not as active as triops, but that could also be due to the cooler temperatures I am cultivating them at. At this stage, they definitely have a lepidurous appearance, with a large broad carapace covering most of their body, and between the tails, a fan-like structure defines this genus. This structure is pretty small at the moment, and doesn't really grow until they have fully matured. I decided to move them into a display tank, while they're still fairly young, to better capture them on film. At this point, they're probably around 3-4 to four weeks old, and still have not reached sexual maturity. Triops would be at max size at this point. If you were thinking of growing both species in a tank, it would probably not end well, as triops will outcompete them unless the water is freezing cold. These guys had a consistent diet of algae wafers, which they loved. After an additional two weeks, they have reached sexual maturity and grown about two inches and definitely have become super active. At this point, I can visually pick out the male and female individuals. The females have a larger, rounder carapace covering most of their body, while the males have a smaller, rounder, and flatter carapace. The males also have a large fan between their tails. This species was quite adorable and clumsy, so I really liked having these guys in my display tank. If you're unable to grow triops due to colder temperatures within your household, these guys are a great substitute. They really don't mind these cooler temperatures. Additionally, since they take longer to grow, you'll probably have them in your tank for much longer than triops. Surprisingly, with this batch of Lepidurus, they kept growing and becoming very large. I'm not sure how big they can get, but with that, they make the water incredibly murky, which tends to happen when they're overcrowded. Here's a closer shot of an adult male. They're really incredible. I will be growing this species again and making more content for those interested in cultivating this species. Well, this basically concludes the video, but if you want to see more content on Brankyopods, please give this video a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to my channel.